US federal court has charged an Indian, Nikhil Gupta, in a murder for hire plot of Khalistani terrorist Gurpatwan Singh Pannu. Pannu, an immigration attorney, faces terrorism charges in India. He is known for promoting Sikh separatism and overseas referendums for an independent Sikh state. Pannu recently released videos threatening to blow up Air India aircrafts. The National Investigation Agency of India, NIA, has booked him a designated individual terrorist, founder of the band Out for Six for Justice under Unlawful Activities Act 1967 for allegedly threatening passengers flying via Air India and the airline itself with a global blockade. He faces over 20 criminal charges in India, including three of sedition. So what is the charge of the US Federal Court? US officials claim to have allegedly found evidence of Gupta's influence. These include electronic intercepts, cash payments and photos. The report alleges Gupta to have made attempts to hire an undercover agent to kill Pannu in New York. The US Attorney's Office in Manhattan revealed the indictment detailing the plot, beginning in early 2023. The document claims that Nikhil Gupta faced charges in Gujarat. Gupta and CC1, the presumed Indian official, communicated via encrypted apps. The deal was to murder Pannu in exchange for the dismissal of a criminal case in Gujarat. During the plot, the CC1 actively used phones and emails in New Delhi. The conversation took effect by May 12, the report alleges. Later, CC1 confirmed clearing the case with the boss. CC1 also proposed a meeting between Gupta and a DCP. It is said that Gupta proceeded with the plans after this confirmation. On May 29, Gupta sought a US hitman from a confidential source, CS. Gupta and the CS negotiated the operations, logistics and the price. Their communication included phone, videos and text messages. Also on May 29, Gupta sent CC1 screenshots discussing the victim and the payment. CC1 consented to pay $150,000, promising more for swift and efficient execution. Gupta presented CC1 with a message requesting $100,000 US dollars. CC1 agreed but refused an advance payment. On June 1st, CC1 provided Gupta with the victim's New York address. On 2nd June, CC1 sought an update from Gupta, emphasizing urgency. On June 3rd, Gupta pressed the confidential source to expedite the matter. Later on, Czech Republic authorities arrested Gupta following a request from the US. India has neither confirmed nor denied these allegations. Ministry of External Affairs said that the connection with an Indian official is a matter of concern and that a high-level committee would be looking into the issue. Here is what the MEA spokesperson Arinda Bhakti had to say on this matter. Um, during the course of discussions with the US on bilateral security cooperation, uh, the US side uh, shared some inputs pertaining to nexus between organized criminals, gun runners, terrorists, uh, other extremists. We take, of course, such in inputs uh, very seriously and a high-level inquiry committee has been constituted to look into all the relevant aspects of the matter. And necessary follow-up action will be taken based on the findings of the inquiry committee. You would have seen this in our statements that we have issued. We cannot share any further information on such security matters. Uh, as regards the case against an individual that has been filed in a US court, uh, allegedly linking him to an Indian official, this is a matter of concern. We have said, and uh, let me reiterate, that this is also contrary to government policy. The nexus between organized crime, trafficking, gun running, uh, and extremists um, at an international level is a serious issue for law enforcement uh, agencies and organizations to consider. And it is precisely for that reason that a high-level inquiry committee has been constituted, and we will obviously be guided by its results. So this is a developing story and we'll keep you updated as and when we get more information. This is Saurav Kumar. Thanks for watching.